Welcome back to Planet Nibiru. Today we're going to be talking about a fireball that streaked across the Florida skies last night. It was so massive uh, and uh, was seen from the uh, panhandle of Florida, which is the upper left-hand portion that touches Alabama and uh, Georgia, all the way down to the Florida Keys. This uh, super bright meteor was so large and so bright that it actually uh, prompted residents to call thinking that it was an alien spacecraft landing. Um, for um, residents of Florida to believe that they were being invaded by aliens, that must have been one massive fireball. You can see here that the uh, fireball looks to be about as big as maybe the sun would be during the day. So uh, that is quite interesting in and of itself. Um, we can see here it occurred at 1117 last night. Look at the size of this fireball. Wow. This was seen again from the panhandle all the way. I mean, that is like almost daylight outside when it when it spark, when it gets really big here. Really, really, truly amazing stuff. Um, and again, to uh, cause people to believe that it was an alien craft landing, it must have been quite the sight to see. Um, kind of sorry that I wasn't there to see it myself. Look at that. That's like complete daylight right there. Let me see if I can stop this. Right? I mean, look at that. That's daylight. That is like absolute daylight. Incredible. Um, lit up the skies just like daylight. Um, they said the super bright meteor was filmed on phones and dash cams um, and prompted calls from terrified locals to police. Um, a police squad car uh, has filmed the fireball. Um, several uh, police squad cars have video of the fireball. Um, more than 100 people called in reporting seeing the meteor. And um, it did happen last night around 11 p.m. So that is the second one this week. The first one was the one that happened just after the earthquake and um, the small tsunami that happened a couple nights ago in Japan. And um, it leads us to believe, if we're going to connect the dots, if we're following uh, the Planet X theory, the Planet Nibiru theory, uh, that we are actually either moving through the tail of it the first time, as um, it, most of you know, uh, as Planet X or Planet Nibiru uh, makes its journey around the sun and goes through perihelion and heads out back into space, it leaves a trail of debris. But but it leaves a trail of debris coming in and on its way out. So the Earth will actually pass through that tail twice. Now if we are either entering into the first part of the tail or the second part of the tail, um, that is unknown. We can't really tell that. But um, it certainly seems to be that we are moving through an area of space that is clustered or cluttered with... Um, these uh, meteors with uh, pieces of rock that we are not familiar with and they're hitting us out of nowhere we've had so many over the past couple of years uh, fireballs that have just come right out of the sky and we had absolutely no warning um, it is only a matter of time until one of these is large enough to not burn up completely in the atmosphere and to actually hit the earth when it does it will hit with so much kinetic energy that it will cause devastation wherever it hits um, let us please let us hope let us pray that the um, size of the the meteorites that do make it through are very very small um, anything larger than say a basketball will have devastating consequences uh, for um, you know, uh, massive areas depending on the size of, of the actual meteorite itself. Um, I can point you back to the Tunguska um, uh, asteroid, or excuse me, the Tunguska meteorite that happened around the turn of the last century and flattened large areas of Siberia. Thank God that it was uh, in Siberia and not a 
um, populated center in uh, Europe or even in the Americas uh, because millions and millions and millions of people would have died. We can also say the same thing about uh, the meteorite that um, came in over uh, Alaska um, and uh, the one that came in over um, Russia uh, just a few, um, well, about a year and a half, two years ago. Um, that was the Chelyablinsk meteorite. That meteorite exploded uh, miles up in the atmosphere and still damaged thousands of buildings on the ground, injured over a thousand people on the ground, and it didn't even hit. Uh, had that hit, there would have been death, there would have been destruction. Um, so keep your eyes to the skies, folks. I'd like to wish you all a very, very happy Thanksgiving. Um, spend some time with your friends and family. Enjoy them and um, enjoy the time that we have here together. We have so many things to be thankful for, especially those of us who uh, uh, live in the free world uh, where we can um, enjoy life in a fairly safe and fairly democratic society. Um, there are so many people around the world who don't have the things that we have. So while we're celebrating tomorrow, um, say a little prayer um, and, and appreciate the things that we have that others don't. Um, that's all for now, and we will be back soon with some more news. Thanks for watching, and uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon.